Hi, I'm Claire. I teach computer applications technology here in Johannesburg. You know how your teacher always tells you to practice past papers? Yeah, that doesn't really help if you don't know how to do half of the stuff. That's what this is for. You'll find a link to the files in the description below, along with the table of contents, so you can just click straight to the question you need help with. We all learn the best from our mistakes, so please, you have to try this by yourself before you watch this video. Let's get into it. You need to have the paper with you while you're looking at this video, please. I need to use the data in column D and E to determine how long, what the number of days for which the first client is booked for. So uh, if you need to do a plain formula where you need to subtract the one off the other, I always use the rule, take the biggest one minus the smallest one. The rate per day we can find in column L and we've just found out that the number of days uh, can be found in column F. So now we need to find out in G5 the total accommodation cost for Berta Hood. So that is the number of days she's staying times the rate per day. Now we get to the difficult question, the tourism levy. Okay, so just make a bit of space here and have a look at what's going on. So you need to really look at this question um, and look up multiple times to make sure that you understand where everything is. Okay, so the levy that the clients need to pay um, differs depending on whether it's peak season or off peak season and column M shows us whether it's peak or off peak. Uh, a one means that it's peak season and a two means it's off peak season. So we need to use a VLOOKUP function in cell H6 to determine the tourism levy that will be paid by this particular client for that hotel or lodge and the hotel or lodge data can be found in J6. Here it shows me which hotel he's staying at. Um, the peak season data can be found in column M and the data is uh, the table is provided in the levy page let's, or the levy worksheet. Let's just have a look at that. In this levy worksheet it shows us in the first column the name of the hotel and the second column the peak season rate, third column off peak season rate. Now before you get a heart attack, let's just to do the plain VLOOKUP and then we can figure out how the hell to do the different peak and off peak rates. Um, it says the function needs to work correctly if it's copied to the rest of the cells and we may need to use the VLOOKUP function in combination with another function. All right, so let's just start with the plain VLOOKUP. The lookup value, um, I've now already looked at everything, um, the lookup value, if we look at the table, um, in the first column in the table, they have the names of the hotel. So in other words, the lookup value that I'm going to use um, is the name of the hotel over here. The, before we go that side, we can see this guy um, is actually staying uh, at a place in peak season because he's in uh, code number one. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Table array. Um, is on the levy worksheet. Select all of it and because we're going to copy it down we need to actually lock it, make it absolute, so we use the F4 key while we've got that selected. If we look at this table, the peak season is in the second column of this table, so the column index number is number two. And the range lookup, it's not compulsory, but we are working with text. We wanted to find that exact phrase. So to find an exact match at the bottom here, you can see we insert false. Or oh, if you can spell. There you go. So that one's fine, but it's not going to work if we copy it down because the second guy is actually not going in peak season. He's going in off peak season. So they've told us we can use it in combination with another function. So basically what I'm going to do is this is the VLOOKUP that it needs to do if it's peak season and there's another VLOOKUP that it needs to do and then it needs to use the third column if it's off peak season. So I'm going to copy this whole VLOOKUP or cut it actually and I'm going to change it and start with an IF 
And I'm going to say, if the season code is equal to one, then it needs to use this VLOOKUP. If not, it needs to use a VLOOKUP and I'm going to change the column number to column three. Then it will use the off peak rate. Why didn't that work? Oh, I've put the one in uh, parentheses. It's a number, so that shouldn't be in parentheses. There you go. All right, all good. Now I need to uh, find out whether this booking reference is for an international hotel or lodge or not. And that is determined by the first letter. So the first letter, um, if it's an X, it shows it's international. And if it's a D, it shows it's domestic. So you're welcome to do this however you please. You can do it all in one. I'm going to show you how to do it separately if you wanted to. Uh, in other words, using building blocks. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm first going to extract only the first letter of this column. I'm going to do that in column Q so that I don't mess up my data. And one does that by using the left function. The left of that first cell, comma, one letter, right? And I can just go drag that down for everyone. All right, now I need to find out um, if this is international, it needs to show true here in I10. And if it's not international, then it needs to show false. So that's a plain if. And I'm going to say if this letter that I just extracted is equal to X, then it needs to return the answer true. Otherwise, it needs to return the answer false. I don't have to include parentheses because true and false is a value, not text. All right, now I could also have done this differently and actually used this entire function left a 10 one um, inside my if. So just to show you how you would have done that, instead of saying Q10, you could have put a bit a, a function in the beginning. So I could have actually done that and said if the left of a 10 comma one is equal to X, then it needs to return true. Otherwise, it needs to return false. In cell 07, I need to determine the third lowest rate per day. So here are the rates. To get the lowest rate would be min, but I need to get the third lowest, so that will be small. Small syntax is first the array. That's the range that it needs to look in. And comma. K is the number. I need to find out the third lowest, so the number three. In cell 010, I need to determine the total number of days, column F, that clients spend at hotels or lodges in Kenya. Now, if you look at this, basically what you want to do is each time the, the name Kenya stands here. You want to sum the number of days. So you're doing a sum if. If you need to add numbers together based on a specific criteria, then you know you're doing a sum if. So I'm going to start over here with my sum if. And personally, I prefer doing a sum if from the bottom up because it shows clearly what is the sum range. Now the sum range um, or the number of days. So I will select that range. My criteria is everyone who spends their time in Kenya. Just spell it right. It's not case sensitive, but I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> All right. And then the range is where can this function go and look for the name Kenya? It can go and look in column K. There you go.